Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw the awesome looking Spinosaurus dinosaur. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this, and to begin, we're gonna start out with his eyes. So just make sure that you have enough room uh, for this thing because it's pretty big, right? These dinosaurs. So we're gonna start out with the eyebrow area. So it's just gonna be just one little angle like this going up. And then for his eyes, really easy. Draw one curve on the top and then another curve on the bottom. Okay, and then for the, uh, for the snout area, I'm gonna have it slant down. So from the brow area, just kind of come down, just curve it. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here, right underneath the eye, just draw one curve like this first. That's gonna be, uh, this is gonna be his upper jaw. And then whatever space you have in here, curve it, just draw a little wave, just connect that. And you can draw it a little bit straighter if it's a little bit easier, but it'll be a little bit cooler if you can add a little bit of a curve to it. Okay, and then once you have that, we're gonna draw in right here on the bottom. This is gonna be his lower jaw. And then this is gonna be inside the jaw, so just close it off first. All right, and then from this shape here, I'm gonna imagine a line coming through here. You can make a little point. So it's right around here. And then for the lower jaw, just curve, connect that. I know it's a lot of tricky little curves, but that's how they are. Okay, and then for the lower jaw, I'm gonna finish this. Just curve, just come in. And then on the back here, just give little bit of a curve going up and then let's just go ahead and finish up the neck so it's a, we can see this a little bit better so on the top here keep going back and then I'm gonna curve this down and then from the jaw area right here just curve it so that's his neck Okay, so now it's a little bit easier to see what we're drawing. So let's add in some detail to the head. And let's see, there's a little bump right here. So this one's easy. And then here's the nostril. And then for the inside right here, I'm gonna add in some lines. It's, it's kind of like the inside of the mouth here. And then for a tongue inside, just start up here. Curve and just go back up. So this is gonna be a tip of the tongue. Just gonna round it off and come back into the mouth. Okay, and then for the teeth, this one's easy and it's always fun to draw these teeth. So I'm gonna draw one bigger one in the front first and then just gonna zigzag, just draw a bunch of them on the back. Make it look nice and mean. And on the bottom as well. Just keep going, I'll just stop there. All right, so that's pretty much the head, and now let's move on to the body, and let's draw in his arms and legs first. So here's the arm on the bottom. So I'm gonna draw one curve. This is, I guess this would be the bicep area. I'm just gonna draw one more curve. And then here, this is going out. This is gonna be his arm. Okay, so now let's come back on the back side here. So here's the back. Come down, this is gonna be the elbow. Go out. So here's the wrist and now we can draw in the claw. So for his claws, I'll start on the top, just gonna go out, just kinda give a little bit of curve at the end. And the same thing here, just go out and just curve it. So that's gonna be one claw and let's draw in the other fingers and claw. So I'm gonna start here, go up, Again, this little curve. And this one I'm gonna go back, just curve it back and then just tuck it right behind that finger. And then let's draw one more on the back here. Just one little claw. Okay, so once we've drawn this, now we can draw on the other side. Okay, so this one's gonna be on the back. So here is the other one. This would be the same kind of curve. And then this one I'm gonna dip it down a little bit more. 
And then here, we can't see his elbow. It's going to be back here. So I'm just going to come down like this. And his elbow will be right around here. So I'm just going to continue that. Just dip it down. Okay, and then now for his cause, again, the same thing. Extend it and just curve. Extend it, curve it. And then one more here. Start here, just go up. Just curve. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same position as long as you have some kind of hook there. And then for this one, let's just, same thing here, just add a little bit of claw on the, on the tip. Okay, so now we can draw in, let's see, let's draw in his leg. So we're gonna continue this. Here's his tummy coming down around the elbow area. Just one little line. And then now for his thigh area, it's gonna be quite big. So it's gonna be one big curve coming down like this. Just connect that. Right here, come in. Now for the finish up the die area, we come all the way back here, curve, and then the back side right here, curve it, and I'm not sure what these joints are called, but there's gonna be another bend here. So now let's go down to his leg, just come down, all the way down. That was a little bit tricky with all these different angles. All right, so now let's try his foot. So I'm going to extend this out, just come down, and just come back and just kind of close it off, round it off. And then right here, his claw. And let's draw his other toes on the back. So I'm going to start up here, a little angle coming down, and then another claw, slightly bigger. All right, so now let's join the back side and I'm going to continue this line here. Okay, so that's going to be the beginning of his tail. And now for his other leg on the back, one curve, so this would be the same as that, just in a different position. Come back down, the same as this. Give it some thickness here, coming back. And then now we're going to come straight down. And then same thing here, but this one's gonna come down a little bit more. This one's gonna be flat, and let's round it off and close it. Okay, and then here's the claw. And then again, another finger right here, up, and then a bigger claw. All right, so now let's finish up the, uh, the top of the body. So we're gonna draw this big hump on the back here and then we'll add in a little bit more detail on the inside here. So we're gonna start back up here on the neck and this is gonna be one big curve going all the way back here to the tail. Okay, so we're just gonna go curve and then go all the way up. Just one little hump or one big hump. Okay, and then so that's gonna be the tail and let's add in a little bit more detail inside to make it look a little bit more realistic. So right on the die area right here, I'm going to draw one curve, tucking in. And then same thing here, right here, just curve up. So now it makes it look like he's got some folds in there, which is kind of what you want to show a little bit of the uh, muscles. All right, and then even the neck up here, just curve, just draw a little line like that. All right, so now let's draw the awesome... Uh, the spine on the back, which is really cool. So right in the middle, um, right here, I'm just gonna go up, just draw one line first. So that's gonna be the highest point, and then we're gonna come all the way back down here. And as we're doing it, just give it a little bit of a hump. It's kind of little angles, because it's not perfectly round. And then as you have this, right on the little dip area right here, I'm just gonna come down into the body. Okay, so it's kind of slanting inward. All right, so same thing on this side. This one's gonna go all the way back here. So again, I'm just gonna draw a little bit, little dip to 
four, I guess four, and then five, six, and extra one more. And then again on those little dips, let's draw the lines coming in. Okay, so those are his spines, and yeah, it could be a little bit tricky because of the angle. If you want, you can always just kind of come down straight. That should work too. All right, so now let's finish up the tail, which is gonna be really easy. Uh, let's just start on the top then. On the top side, I'm gonna curve down, and come back up. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same as this as long as you have some kind of curve. Okay, so same thing on the bottom. So it's gonna start out wide here, just follow that curve. And as you move toward the tip, just make it a little bit smaller. So you're coming in and then until you reach that and just round it off. Okay, and then to add a little bit more detail on the back here, you add these little humps on the tail. And that is it for this very cool looking Spinosaurus. Hope you guys like the way it turned out and if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time.